We made, my wife Mindy and I, the little video that follows this bit yesterday before we woke up this morning to hear the new advice that we should all work from home if we can, not make unnecessary journeys and keep our distance. But that explains why what follows might look like an unnecessary journey. Hello, this is very exciting. My wife, Mindy and I are traveling up to the Lake District, which is in the northwest of England, from our home, which is in the southwest of England. Yeah, that's not very exciting, but we're doing it in a Tesla Model X. Now the car has plotted our route, it's about a 500 mile round trip and it's planned the route obviously but it also tells us where and when we need to stop to charge and for how long and it's telling me we have to stop at Charnock Richard for 25 minutes. Now this will be my first ever experience of a Tesla supercharger and my first experience of a long distance journey in an electric car. It's my first step into a new future or one possible future. Anyway I'll let you know how it goes. Pulling over now into the services. Um, I don't know, where are the superchargers? It tells me here that there are some, um, but I've never done this before. Um, I have to say, it's telling me I stopped for 25 minutes. Now, knowing I was doing this trip, I timed myself on an ordinary fuel stop the other day, and it took me 10 minutes by the time I'd stopped, paid for fuel. Oh no, they're over there. I don't know how to get over there. <laughs> uh, uh, right, we may have to stop recording because I may have to just go down the wrong way. Oh. Okay, this is fairly embarrassing, not least because my wife is on board with me. Um, I, I, I missed I missed the Tesla superchargers whilst talking to you, and I've driven straight through Charlotte Richard Services, so I'm now going to see what it advises me to do, having missed that opportunity. I'm presuming the sat nav will say, turn round, you muppet. I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I think it's, oh, it's going to turn me around. So what I'm going to do now is drive up to the next exit, turn around and drive back and do that again. Oh, right, I'm sorry. Plonker. Yeah, well, I've never done this before. Car of the future meets yep. pillock of the past. Yep, thank you. Uh, yep, turning around, going back at the M6. Any minute now, we'll do it all again. And on to the M6 North, again, three miles up, we'll pull over my first Tesla supercharger experience, and yours, to be fair. Then. It wasn't a short experience so far, was it? Well, sometimes it's better when things take long. And you know about that? <laughs> I've pulled off, I'm, I'm, I'm concentrating, um, really hard. Yes. Tesla vehicle charging. There is a sign there. Right. Well, follow it. But Just follow to, it. You have to be on it. It's like a rally turn. I mean, that is. It says no entry except for hotel, Richard. You're going to the hotel. Oh my God, you've I'm gone to the hotel. No, I haven't. <laughs> no, you go down here. <laughs> no, it says no HGV. But, oh, look. <laughs> right. They're over there. Oh, there's, there's one. Oh, there's two people out there. Fellow Teslas. Oh, are we Tesla? Oh, look, there's one man in a, in a, in a Model X. Oh, they've reversed in. I'm going to reverse in because that's obviously what you do. Um, I'm so, what do I do? Um, Don't run over the man. No, I won't run over the man. Backing up. Where is the man? Backing up. I might have to ask him. Hear a squeak, it's the man. Um, right, reversing. Oh, so the people are going to see me not knowing what I'm to do. Right, I've stopped, stop, then, um, hang on, I know if I go here, it, I can open the little, and it's probably like a really, oh, where, where's the, <laughs> get rid of that, and then if you go here, look, it says, oh, it doesn't, okay, I can just open the flap, open. you don't know what you're doing, I do, you? I so do, <clears throat> Come outside and watch you fail. Watch how my door opens automatically. Ready? I didn't use my hands. It just did that. Coronavirus <laughs> safe. Really cool. Um, mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> I'll do it on my own then. I'm open. Charge port open. Oh, I haven't parked close enough. <laughs> Well, 
think I have to reverse it up again. It's different ones. They've got longer poses than Don't say anything. Right, I'm backing up. Totally done it, and that should take 25 minutes, which will pass like that. Do you want a cup of coffee? Bag of crisps. Look at that, it says supercharging. I've taken over the filming just for a moment because um, Mindy doesn't trust me. There it is, supercharging. So, um, for just, I don't know, what's it saying? 25 minutes will give us 64. Oh no, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna completely just charge the thing. Oh God. Well, I don't want. I don't, want, I don't want 65 miles, I want another 290. Yeah. Look at that, it's already at eight miles. You can see the miles going up as you look. Eight miles. Any minute now, it's going to say nine miles. This isn't exciting. Nine miles! This is not exciting. Nine miles! Not exciting. Nine miles! Not exciting. Here's the other things that you charge your car at. This is extraordinary. I don't know why I haven't done this before. Richard. Hang on, it's going to be on 11 miles. Richard. We've gained 11 miles. Can we go and get something to eat now? Okay. Okay, this is where it gets really cool because we've stopped for a coffee and in the time it's taken them to heat my panini, yeah. we'll probably have added another 30 miles. This is really exciting. It's just so exciting. It's the future. So, in the time it's taken us to have our cup of coffee and panini, and um, the car has gone back up to 232 miles of range, which is more than enough to get to the Lake District and back here again tomorrow morning to charge for the return journey. I'm pressing the brake pedal now. Never ceases <laughs> Come on, to it's music. cool. Right, that's it. I've unplugged. I've closed the little flat thing. Um, it's light and I'm wearing sunglasses and the car's locked itself so I have to un oh for the love of god itself, so I have to switch it back up now it's on car on drive achieved seatbelt on good well, you know, oh I'm gonna hang on oh, I'm gonna put this it's I can put me in so it'll, it'll adopt my driving position uh, it's not my driving oh that okay have you turned the navigation on yes I will have done yes I have there God! Shut up! You're spoiling it! I usually do these things alone, not with you being a critic. Mm. Off we go. Okay. Right. I'm going to call it Silent Fury. Oh, God. Come on, because it's this thing does 0 to 60 in 2.7 seconds. Right, watch. Ready? Ready? Oh, I've got, got legal speed, but... <laughs> I've got a bad shoulder. Oh, sorry. That's straight up to the legal motorway speed, 70 miles an hour, that's all I'm doing. Oh yeah. And so we take to the motorway once more on our epic voyage with sufficient electricity to get us there and back to a supercharger to get us home again. I'll update you when we complete this journey with tales of our tremendous success and how excited Mindy has been about the whole process. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah loving it. So that's what happened going up to the Lake District. We are now on our way back from the Lake District in a new world, making what is suddenly a necessary journey to get home. The only slight issue is, I didn't put the car on charge last night. I'm new to the world of electrical cars and I'm now suffering crippling range anxiety. It's my fault, not the cars. At the moment, it's telling us we will arrive at the next supercharger with 1% of battery charge left. As a result, Mindy is no longer sure about having an electric car. I want this thing, I adore it. If I can get it to Penrith, I'm talking to Mindy now, and on the supercharger, I'm gonna have it. Well, let's see how that pans out for us, shall we? I'm such an idiot, this is my fault. Mm. See you in a bit. Mm. I know, the world has got enough to be worrying about at the moment. I know. Made matters worse for us here. Sorry. We're gonna make it. The thing is, it's the car of the future, but I'm not yet the driver of the future. No. Yes, I'm slipstreaming this truck. 
if it were a petrol tanker, it would be epically ironic. You think that's funny? You think that's funny? That's not funny. You're a very, very silly man, aren't you? One mile. Oh, we're going to make it. Eight miles of range left. I don't know what you're worried about. Anyway. I don't know where you're in mm, Panic. What? It's, it's a car of the future. It knows what it's doing. Imagine if there were roadworks. Yeah, there. I don't. Ah, but you see, when we're stationary, we're not idling, so we're not consuming. Don't miss the blooming oh, services okay, now. Concentrate. Okay. Half a mile. <laughs> we are coming in on a wing and a prayer. <laughs> How are we going to make it? <laughs> I've been really scared. Mm. That was that was range anxiety. If I miss this turn off, you die. Just concentrate, Hammond. I am so concentrating. This is definitely the right services, isn't it? Yes, it is. I indicated so early then, because it felt like I was getting in there even earlier. Right. Turning off. With very little power left. Services. Slow down, slow down. <laughs> Look for them. Look for them. Charge points. Straight, straight on. on. More Tesla Eco parking. Six, oh, there you go. More Tesla parking. It's over there. How do I get there? Oh, oh no. It I says panic. straight on. Okay. Oh, Richard. I'm sorry. I, oh, I'm in the reverse. <gasps> Jesus. Oh, I am in such a panic. Yeah, Calm I down. Well, I, right. Oh, yeah. Look at all these Tesla people. Oh, now play, you're so happy. I'm going to play it cool now. Eight miles left. I wonder if it's like an heroic thing in Tesla world if you come rolling in with, you know, minimal power left and you're like, yeah. Cut it pretty close to the wire there. Mm. Right. Maybe you have to get quite close yeah, to the I do. pump. I do. I remember. <sighs> Here ends a funny little video um, during which time the whole world has gone to pot. Um, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, if you are able to work from home, I hope you can and enjoy it. Uh, stay safe and be well. And charge your car well in advance. <laughs>